Chapter 2 Introduction to the Black Awakening I have heard the demons scream again and again. They know what is coming. Judgment for them. So now they fight before that dreadful day. They have to. They have, are, and will use human lives to accomplish their agenda. And this includes the Black Awakening and their new order. Rest is dark. The guide warned that we would have to work very carefully in order not to alarm the enforcers. They might kill in order to maintain the secrecy. Page 193 of Satan's Children. They were part of the new breed of warriors. The products of a top secret program to train the perfect soldier or spy. They began their careers while still in elementary school. Prologue to secret weapons. Too many Christians, not enough lions. Quote from a bumper sticker. We are the legions who will rule this earth. Quote from a chosen one. This is what was said by the chosen one that was on the floor leg chained and handcuffed. It was a German speaking sub personality who was charged with demonic powers and screaming the words. He knew who I was and knew that I knew what he was. He was, and still is, a super soldier, a chosen one, active yet waiting. He and many others are specially selected and highly trained people who consider themselves superior to us regular mundane human beings. One of his inner created program sub-personalities charged with the hate you could feel and that dark force has become so familiar, attacked me, and then fought with the police officers. When he was finally handcuffed and on the floor unable to harm anyone, he lifted up his head in a deep German accent and demonically charged voice spoke these words. There were many in the room watching and listening when he rose up and they were all taken aback when he growled. We are the legions who will rule this earth. The officers had uh, had enough after that and just lifted him and carried him into the police car and took him to the local hospital for a psychological evaluation. I will tell you the whole story of this event later in the book. It is the coming future, and very shocking to say the least. We are the legions that will rule this earth. He's not the only one who has made reference to the coming chaos and the goal of bringing the Antichrist to power. The coming Homo Satanus. He is also only one of the few who have attacked me and sought to harm me. Let me tell you now, they are very fast, furious, 
and will take most people by surprise. We are the legions that will rule this earth. <laughs> I've met with many of these chosen ones and have interacted with hundreds of their inner sub alter personalities. I've listened to many of those inner purposely created and hidden personalities tell the story of the glories of the coming man, the one they say will rule the new age, bring a new order, and build a military such as the world has never seen. For what? Well, they know. They know very well. Revelation 1919. Who are these chosen ones? Where did they come from, and what will they do? Why do they look forward to a day of great anarchy and chaos? And why do their makers look forward to the day of Armageddon? Again, it's Revelation 1919. These questions and all their implications will be unfolded in the chapters to come. These super soldiers are chosen ones. One of a number of titles or designations given them by those who made them. They have been and are chosen for Satan. And the coming rule that will be manifested through their glorious superhuman leader. Their main job is one that may be very close at hand. They will unleash hell on earth. And let me tell you, all those trained and demonically charged inner personalities can talk about the coming chaos they call the Black Awakening. I was sitting on the side of a lake, talking to a number of those sub-personalities in the body of a militarily trained person from a base that trained in PSYOPs, Psychological Operations and created super soldiers. One of those personalities asked me if I had heard of the Black Awakening. Up until that time, I hadn't. Um, so, of course, I said no. They began to describe to me what the ultimate goal of their training and existence was all about. I had already, by this time, had to confront demonic presence listen to abused inner personalities and engaged personalities who were highly trained in fighting, assassination, weapons, subterfuge, and much more. These chosen ones have truly been raised with the demons, a demonic agenda, enhanced abilities they prize and will use both now and at the time of their day of glory the hell on earth event they call the Black Awakening. Chosen Ones and the Black Awakening. The person I was working with was someone I have and still do care a lot about. I spent years talking to them, listening to them, engaging the demons that empower many of those programmed inner personalities. I've listened to many personalities who spoke through this one mouth, many who looked at me through that one set of eyes. I heard them speak Russian, Spanish, German, and what sounded like an Arabic language. They could write in many languages, including old dead languages, those used in rituals and the conjuring of demons. They were very smart and very educated. We discussed time travel, physics, new technologies, and of course how the dark powers work. It is this person who shared with me the first and gave me the most information about what they and their handlers call the Black Awakening. This is their terminology, not mine. Since my time with that person, 
15 years ago. I've met many other chosen ones whose inner personalities have told me of this same coming day of hell on earth. All of those who have and who are even now telling me of this event, one thing remains consistent. It is about the rise of a new world order and its coming super leader. The inner personalities and the chosen ones seem to hold that coming world leader in awe and fear. Most inner personalities will gladly kill, destroy, and die for their man to come. They see him as Homo Satanus, Satan manifesting genetically and spiritually incarnate. This will not be Nephilim, Homo Noctus, or just the Aryan New Man. It will be Satan himself in human flesh, a counterfeit incarnation. We shall look deeply into this as the book unfolds. All the chosen ones I have dealt with have been created to be a super soldier. They were chosen, made, trained, programmed, demonized, and sent. Most right now are quiet sleepers, waiting for the call to rise and unleash this hell on earth. They are in churches, psych wards, the government, law enforcement, the military, and many other places. The ones still intact are placed where they are so that they can be close to their coming targets of destruction. They wait, like a quiet, unassuming person in the crowd. A nice person who wouldn't seem like they could harm a fly, shoot a gun, or slash with a knife, but, oh, buddy, they will. And with a cold as hell energized accuracy. They wait to be activated to kill, slaughter, and unleash hell in society so the demons can dance and their leader can emerge as Savior of Humanity. A Savior for Humanity, whom they say can bring a new order out of the chaos. They know what they are to do. They know what is planned, and most of them wait with dark, bated breath, charged by ancient fallen spirits. Some can't wait to shed blood and strike fear into the hearts of millions. For them, there is no question. The Black Awakening will occur. The Black Awakening is a multinational unleashing of historic chaos and anarchy. A chaos and anarchy that was planned and developed over a long period of time. This is a controlled chaos. You will only go so far. It has to have enough left to build upon. To build a whole new order. In every way. Before the new world order. The chaos must come before the new order. For many reasons why, they tell me. There is the problem of too many Christians. Too many churches, too many politicians and military men who would stand in the way. The Luciferians way. And in the way of the coming leader. We must have our powers unleashed and the world at its knees if we are to get them to follow. They say that. And it is either follow or die. I will spell this out in more detail later. But let me stimulate your thinking cap. The chaos they speak of must come before and is designed to help create the need for a new world order. The BA and chaos it brings, the Black Awakening, 
and chaos it brings includes the destruction that forces the need for help and unleashes a new wave of spiritual influence that urges millions to embrace a new regime and of course listen to a new powerful voice chaos before the new world order is not a new concept it just hasn't happened yet but all this is chatter is it real a chaos before a new order according to whom I'll give you a glimpse here and the details later According to hundreds of thousands of these chosen ones, they are everywhere and most are intact, ready to go. They were created for a reason, chaos and enforcement of the new world order. They were created by design and they were created by designers who are under the leaders, who are under the elites, who are under a very ambitious leader who is charged with murder, violence, and a God complex. Follow the spiritual trace evidence and it leads back to Hell's kitchen and a fallen cherub. According to old occultists and secret society themes, like Albert Pike and the Masons, did you know there are 53,000 Masonic temples in the United States of America. Ordo Abkeo. A new order out of the chaos. <laughs> it's often quoted by chosen ones too. It seems expected among old Masons. According to the ascended masters who have dictated their writings to Helena Blavatsky, Alice Bailey and others. Their writings have developed the tens of millions of New Age followers that are seeking a new age or the dawning of Aquarius. New Agers are being prepped for a chaos or a cleansing before their new day evolves. And according to the spirits who guide them, this chaos is a good thing. Hmm. According to many Muslim scholars, they believe in a coming world leader, and they say there must be a massive bloodshed and war before he, the Mahdi, will rise to power and rule from Jerusalem. According to the 2012ers that are following the Mayan prophecies, and claiming that a new age is coming. They see massive catastrophe and devastation first. This must come to prepare the new way for a new day or a restart to human civilization. According to those in the search for UFO and extraterrestrial life, many who are contacting or being contacted Claim that they are here to help man evolve to a new level. <laughs> that a great devastating change is coming. And that man may annihilate himself. So, they have come to help us make a new earth. <laughs> According to the saber rattling of the nations... Missiles being shot, nukes being built, Iran versus Israel, Russia versus the U.S., China versus the U.S., and worldwide economic collapse. Some strategists say chaos is inevitable. The feeling that all hell is going to break loose is echoed by many. It's just a matter of time, they say. According to older traditional Satanists and their writings, some tell of a ascendancy of the Satanic order. This is true of the teachings of the Church of Satan in the U.S. 
They call the Christian church the rotting corpse of Christendom. Biblical revelation tells of a great revolt or rebellion that will occur linked to the rise of the man of lawlessness. 2 Thessalonians 2 reveals the world will grow wicked, violent, and break down under the growing spirit of Antichrist. Jesus Christ did say that massive anarchy, chaos, and breakdown will happen. And these are just the birth pains before the end. The Bible says the end of history will include unprecedented destruction. See Matthew 24. There are many streams, writings, and spiritual beliefs pointing in the direction of massive chaos. The desire for world government and the need to survive. The chosen ones and their sub-personalities have told me for years, and at times even taunt me, about their coming day of blood. They've even told me how the demons at their rituals will speak through priests or others, telling them that their day is soon. They write me emails telling me to look at 9-11, the Virginia Tech shooter, and many other shooters as clues and tests of what is to come. They seem to reveal in the economic breakdown and the feeling of chaos in the air. And one writes me, here's a quote, The watchers are keeping track and time is running out. Satan takes a new bride. The old era is ending, a new one beginning. Now it begins. Massive change. And another one writes in an email. The boy from Finland, a shooter who killed eight. Only a toy soldier. And like a toy soldier, he fell. Just a preview, Dizdar. Just a preview. You are correct. The firestorms will extend to the other public areas. In another conversation, a highly trained chosen one tells me, we will make Hitler's SS troops look like choir boys. Even the famous preacher and author, David Wilkerson, quoted in March 8, 2009, World Net Daily article, Feigned pastor predicts imminent catastrophe, he says. An earth-shattering calamity is about to happen, he writes. It's going to be so frightening. We are all going to tremble, even the godliest among us. The hour is going to come when the whole world is going to change. Now, eminent Bible scholars believe that chapter 24 and 25 of Isaiah have to do with our time this very day. A sudden cataclysmic event is going to strike, and the Bible, Isaiah says, the lofty, this is 26 verse 5, the lofty, meaning the proud city, will be laid low even to the ground. Then, according to the prophet, there is utter chaos. How could it happen that in one hour there could be such confusion where government can't do anything about it, societal agencies can't do anything about it, because even when 9-11 struck this city, they came from all over the world. They poured in from all the United States, firemen, police officers, and helpers. And uh, there was uh, armies of people wanting to help. But, folks, this cataclysmic event makes very, is made very clear in the Scripture. It's going to be beyond human ability to cope with. And, and even now, we, we listen to our secular prophets, and they, they talk about trying to prepare. But there, there is... There's coming a day that in one hour, society changes. A whole world changes. The Bible says the merchants will weep and weep and wail and cry because no one is buying their merchandise. 
they're all sellers and no buyers. And, and now all of these risk funds, mortgage companies going bankrupt left and right. And, and we are facing an incredible monster economic upheaval. You say, well, why warn? What's the purpose of that? Why don't you just wait till it happens? Why live on any kind of anxiety? Why put this burden upon us? But remember what Jesus said when he first saw the destruction of Jerusalem. He said, this city is going to burn to the ground. And he said, I'm telling you now so that when it happens, you'll believe. You'll believe that there is a God who so loved you. He warns you. This city is going to the ground and there won't be one stone left upon another in the temple. And Jesus warned. He said, now, I'm warning you for a reason. So that when it happens, when you see these things come up, you will understand that you were loved. Finally, this chapter is just a preview of what the Black Awakening is and means. Remember the term Black Awakening is their terminology, not mine. It holds meaning for them. For what they believed must and will happen. And long before the Black Awakening occurs, a supra-secret crew have been laboring in the night creating the needed transmuted super-soldiers. This leadership with their soldiers will ascend with an act to save the world and lead it into an evolution of spiritual growth, world unity and total control. They are here for sure and are the, quote, controllers under the presence of an ancient hate. The Black Awakening, with all of its destructive chaos and anarchy, is Hale's plot unleashed. A revolt so vast it will shift the world and crack open a whole new era. It is a culture-wide satanic ritual, bringing pain, terror, and bloodshed. Only the demons and demonized will dance in this hour of history. Only those who seek the death of God and all who walk with him will cheer. They will bring society down to its knees and force the cry and need for a savior a savior for a new world order. This new order will scream that all must change, that this new age will be different than all the old failed history of the past. The Black Awakening will level the playing field and clear the way for what I call the voice of an ancient hate. Yes. It's the masquerade of the ages. It's a condo on a beachfront sitting on the mother of all fault lines. It's the man behind the curtain. And he's wearing a smile. But when the smile comes off, and as sure as Bible prophecy says it will, for many, it will be way too late.